Hello, my name is Erica Lindbeck and I play Boss 2. What to say about Boss 2, she is a badass, she takes no shit, and she loves her friends. To be a saint is somebody who is a problem solver, somebody who, again, takes no shit from anybody and who will always do the right thing for them and the people they love. I usually co-opt favorite into emotionally impactful, and for me, something bad happens to people that I love, and I am unable to do anything to help them in that moment, and that is incredibly impactful to me. And also, I get the absolute shit kicked out of me, which is always fun. Come on, it's always fun. I love a little angst. I felt like I really got to just be myself. I loved this particular job. Nobody said, oh, could you change the character a little? Everyone just went, ah, yes, that's what we want. We want you, just do it, like, go for it. Being brought on because of who you are and what you just intrinsically bring to the project is so rare and so cool and something that I fully took advantage of. I fully took fucking advantage of. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. Everybody. My name is Bryce Charles, and I am one of the voices of The Boss. The Boss can be super lighthearted and chill and sarcastic and quippy and fun, you know, with their friends and everything, but don't let anybody come at their friends. Don't let anybody threaten one of their crew. Being a saint is essentially just about taking the reins of your life and being your own person. The saints are underdogs, basically, in a society where the system is rigged against them. And no matter what, against all odds, somehow the bad guys keep on thriving. And at a certain point, they're like, well, I'm going to use the system and turn it against itself. So there are these awesome rebels, and it's just about having some sense of control and power for themselves. Favorite line or moment for me is kind of hard to narrow down because I recorded a ton of lines over the course of nearly two years. Um, and it was all a blast, like truly. But I can say, especially because I don't use a lot of profanity in my life, just uh, day to day, I really enjoyed cursing up a storm every single recording session. That was a really fun time. Party's over, motherfucker. <clears throat> Screaming wild uh, phrases early in the morning for my family and neighbors to hear was really, really fun. This was my very first video game experience, um, and it's just been absolutely awesome from the very beginning up, and it's still going, and it, it just will always have a really special place in my heart. Particularly, you know, having this job over the last two years, it just really gave me something to look forward to, um, and it gave me really awesome people to work with. Another favorite thing about working on this game and being a part of this awesome Saints Row world is that I got to use um, a lot of my vocal talents, not just with voice acting, but I got to bring some of my theater experience into my voice acting. I got to bring some of my musical experience into my voice acting. And um, there's just some really fun and exciting things for y'all to look out for, so make sure you look out for them. Y'all think you know the game, but you have no idea. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. Hi, my name is Emily O'Brien and I play one of the eight customizable boss voices. I am the British brash boss voice. I play a refined, refined British version of the boss. Um, she is eloquent, or rather sounds eloquent, but she has a lot of cursing words in, in there thrown in, I'd say 90% of the time that she speaks, which has been great fun. So what I think it means to be in a saint is to feel like you're part of a unit. And each saint comes from a different uh, gang and they've kind of formed their own 
community and become very close friends. And when you're part of a saint, I think you have a, an understanding that your friends are going to have your back. My favorite moment in the game, or I should say moments, um, are moments that I actually cannot talk about quite yet, but I will give you a little bit of a preview as to how her voice changes for these scenes that are very, very fun to do. This project ranks on a scale of 1 to 10, 11. And I've said this every time I'm in sessions. I say, this game goes the fastest. It's suddenly over before I know it. Genuinely, this is probably the most fun I've had on a game. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. I am Rachel Butera, and I play boss number eight. I am a badass, kick-ass, gun-for-hire, basically. I run around murdering, strong-arming, bribing, stealing, robbing, you name it. You name the nefarious activity, and I am part of it. This is my first major, major video game role, so it means a lot to me to be trusted enough to carry part of this, to work alongside the rest of the amazing cast, and just have my name be associated with the franchise. I just hope everybody who plays is gonna love it. It's a big deal for me, really big. My favorite? I don't know if I have a specific moment, but I do love the humor. I love the way she kind of messes around and jokes around with Kevin. Kevin never wants to wear a shirt, and she's always sort of there to, with a sarcastic comment. And I also like a lot when she's like driving and just picking up the phone and being like, Yeah, it's me. Who do you want murdered? All right, I'm gonna go get it. You know, uh, it's just like, I love the, the humorous undertone of the game, of her character. We had a great time recording it. It was really challenging too, though. I gotta say, like, it's the first time I ever had to listen to the other actor, match them second by second, and in the same tone as them, but with the voice of the character I was doing. I've never encountered that before, and it was challenging, but it was super fun. It's our time now. Let's get the shit started. <laughs> 